Danielle Smith. Please let us know. Recording in questions. progress. We'll start with Danielle Bruce. First of all, Danielle, welcome. Uh, it's nice to meet you. But uh, just give us both of your reactions to when you found out that Jamal would be joining the Red Wings organization. Javon, why don't you go first? Oh, I was just, uh, I was just excited. That, like it's, you'll get that text too often. So when I found out, I was like, wow. Jamal, what about you? For me, I was, uh, I was actually sleeping, getting ready to play my first game okay. since uh, last year. And uh, I just woke up to a bunch of texts. I thought maybe I slept in, and I, I saw, I think the first thing I saw was like a tweet with the octopus, and I, I didn't know what that meant, and I clicked it, and I saw it, and I was, I didn't believe it at first, and obviously, it, like, it was, it's great, it's a great opportunity for me, and I'm excited on, and to play with him, alongside of him, is definitely an opportunity that doesn't come by as often, so. And how much have you been able to kind of follow what the Red Wings have been doing this season? Obviously, it's been an exciting year so far. A decent amount, because I obviously yep. uh, try to keep up with what he's doing, so I was able to uh, track it a bit. And um, just how are you feeling? I know you said you were get preparing for your first game, so how are you feeling health-wise? I'm excited. I mean, uh, obviously, it's been a long time coming, and uh, I'm excited to be here. Uh, I don't know if many know this, but he knows that growing up, Detroit Red Wings have always been my favorite team. So to, to get to be here with him, and I uh, think there's no better feeling. You're welcome. We're excited to have Thank you. Thank you. Next, we go to Anthony Khan. Yeah, Jamel, uh, just uh, what was your uh, your family's reaction when they found out the news? Uh, they're obviously excited for me. Uh, my family's very, very calm. They don't really show excitement as as many do, but uh, they're definitely excited for me. And uh, I talked to my mom and my dad, and they, uh, they're glad that we're here to be together and kind of experience uh, this together. So it's uh, they're definitely excited for us. And uh, uh, have, you, uh, have you guys ever played together uh, on a team? Uh, in youth hockey or at any time? Uh, no, we never played together or never played against them ever. So this is the first time we're ever going to be on a team together. And Jamel, uh, just w what do you think that's going to be like uh, uh, playing with your brother, uh, being on the ice with him as teammates uh, and maybe perhaps even on the same line? I think it'll be good. I'll be able to uh, take the experience that I had. Obviously, I was at the Lightning when uh, they won the two Stanley Cups. So Obviously, it's uh, I'm able to share the kind of things that I experienced with him and kind of guide him along the process as much as possible, as well as him pushing me as well. Thanks. Colleen St. James? Jamal, just so I have this right. So you found out on, on Twitter before yeah. seeing a text, or how did that come down? Yeah, just because that was the first message that I, I seen when I looked at my phone on the notification lock screen. So I just seen the octopus, and then I seen a bunch of missed texts, and kind of just started looking and looking and I just saw um, our, our GM call me, uh, call me and text me at the time and then I found out thoroughly through that way. Okay. And then what, you got on a plane to Detroit and? Uh, no, I was actually supposed to play my first game in Rochester okay. and uh, I, I was uh, going to head there and then I got the news like maybe two hours before so I just drove to Rochester, picked up my bag and just drove straight to Detroit. Okay. And Giovanni, did you, uh, have you, are you, is he rooming with you? Uh, did you offer a place to stay, or what's the situation there? Uh, no, he's not rooming with me. We used to have bunk beds growing up, so <laughs> I don't want that anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, he's, uh, he's old enough, so he's probably going to stay on his own. Okay, who got the top bunk bed when you were? <laughs> okay. And uh, either one of you, um, are you able to have any family here tonight? Or probably not because of uh, the pandemic or? Yeah, probably not just because it's too much of a hassle. And uh, obviously my mom's a nurse who didn't want to get vaccinated uh, for her own reasons. So that would that'd be tough. And my dad, uh, he had a bad break with COVID. So I don't think he uh, is going to want to risk that too often. So. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Max Boltman. Hey, Giovanni, you mentioned getting the text. Was that from Jamal or was that from Steve or, or someone with the wings? Um, it was uh, Kim. Kim was calling me when I found out. And then I texted him and it was just like, just uh, exciting news. And he was asleep, so he probably didn't reply right away? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, for both of you, what, what do you think each other's best uh, quality is on the ice and off the ice? Uh, for me, I know I'm a, I'm a fast player. Uh, I like to play with skill. I'm a puck possession type player, so I like to keep the puck on my stick and play with it. And I'd say that's my uh, 
best ability and ability to keep keep the puck and play with it and, and my speed and my tenacity. Sorry, I meant each other's like so you oh. Yeah. oh I think he's he's uh he's he's a power power forward, uh big strong, can uh get in a guy's face, can uh take the puck apart the net, he's got a good shot and yeah. Yeah, my brother he's uh he's a fast player, uh very skilled and uh he's a good uh playmaker too. I like to shoot the puck. But you'll see uh you'll see what he can do eventually. And then, Jamel, you said you were a Red Wings fan growing up. How did that come? I think you guys are from Metro Toronto, right? How did that come to be? It's just we all had uh, favorite teams growing up, even if it was through video games or jerseys. And uh, my favorite player was always Sergey Fedorov, so I had a Fedorov jersey. And my favorite goalie was Dominic Hasek. So it was just something that I, uh, a team that I just first loved since I was like three years old, and I just always stuck with them. Thanks, guys. Bob Duff? Giovanni, uh, Coach Blashill was saying yesterday that you uh, lobbied him like it was last season to call Coach Cooper and convince him that he should play Jamel in the game against you guys. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, I do. Well, what was your reaction when you first uh, found out this? I mean, this is better, obviously, than playing against him. Yeah. Um, well, we, we play a lot together in the summertime. We train together. So we're always together like on the ice and off the ice. So now it's like we're together playing hockey, like for real now. It's, it's just crazy. It's insane. I don't know if anybody's told you this, but it, there hasn't been a brother axe play for the Red Wings since 1969. So you guys are going to end a 53 year drought here. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's great news. It's awesome. Obviously, it's exciting news. All right, thanks, guys. All right, those are all the questions we had this morning. Thanks, everyone, for joining us.